Hello everyone and welcome back to another Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Today we're going to be talking about this shrine, Proving the Grounds, The Hunt. This one is absolutely wild and chaotic. You get stripped of everything you own except pretty much a pair of pants. Um, and there's like two sticks in your starting room and not a whole lot you can do. So basically you're forced to do this entire shrine with only the things that it provides for you. So this is incredibly difficult if you're someone like me and you have absolutely no coordination or are not successful at pretty much doing anything at all. So anyway guys, let's go in and see how we need to do this. So the first thing I did was fuse one of these homing devices to my weapon, which I honestly wouldn't suggest doing because this guy is actually pretty easy. So there's not really a need to do that. I would have rather had the extra homing device or whatever it's called. Uh, but anyway, you can do it however you want to, but take out the first guy in the room and then do not, don't leave the room. Go around, collect all the weapons. Don't leave the room, stay in this room. Next, I'm gonna take one of these spiky little blocks and I'm going to fuse it to the top. I tried fusing these to the sides, but it made them a little off center. So fuse this to the top of those homing devices. And um, I would suggest doing it to just one of them and you'll see why in a minute. So send your devices on their way to start attacking some of those creatures out there. If you have both of them, send both out, but keep one of these little spiky guys because, now this didn't happen to me, but if they see you, they will come after you and they'll swarm this room. If you protect yourself with one of these, they will run into the little spiky wall that's in front of you and actually cause damage to themselves. So kind of just barricading ourselves in here with this spiky wall for extra protection while those homing devices take out all the bad guys in the other room. I decided to take a look to see where everything was at and I noticed another one of the devices up on a ledge. So I'm trying to use my arrows to hit that to see if he'll go up to some of the top ledges and take out some of those other ones that are up there. Uh, later on you'll see they just pushed him off the edge and he's flipped upside down. So he was kind of useless in the end. Um, but you can see my other one attacking the rest of them on the bottom level in the corner. So I'm just staying happy in my little room where they can't get to me. My other device decided to go over and start attacking this guy on the ground. And you can see my previous one that was up on the ledge is now flipped over upside down. So he really didn't do a whole lot, but I guess if I tried to pick him up and move him around, maybe he would. I'm not taking my chances. This final one on the ground is just about gone and we are going to have to start moving up to the other levels. So I'm going to run out close enough to where I can reach my device and move him around a little bit. The guy up top that has the arrows really doesn't have a lot of range when it comes to where he can shoot at. So you're pretty safe to run up to the next levels just don't run directly underneath of him and you should be okay. So I sent one of my devices up top and there is a few other things in this room. You can do cannons and other kinds of things, but I'm just sticking with these devices. So I'm gonna go around the left side of this room and up this ramp. You're going to find another one up there. And to me, the best thing to do was just to use ultra hand to move them all onto the top ledge to take out the last guy. That was the easiest thing for me, just to ensure that this last one didn't take me out and I had to start over because that would be really unfortunate. So the devices knocked him all the way down to the bottom level, which I was really happy with because if there was anything else back there, then the homing devices would be able to take those out as well. But this is the final one they have left. So I'm just sitting here watching the three of these devices take out this last bad guy. Once he's a goner, you'll be told that your equipment will be returned to you and the door will open to the final room where you can finish this shrine and get your orb. And that's it. That is the easiest and I guess laziest way, work smarter, not harder method 
to complete this ridiculous shrine. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.